my beautiful fart faces. Today we have an unbagging unboxing from Distracted by Diamonds. I almost forgot. Distracted by Diamonds. I don't know which canvas is in here, but you guys will know. So we have my trusty deli machete and let's open it up. If you're new here and you like diamond painting videos, diamond painting unboxings, accessories, tools, you're obsessed with diamond painting, go ahead and click the subscribe button. I post new videos on a daily basis. So this diamond painting comes to us from Distracted by Diamonds. Again, I'm not sure which one this is, but I'm very excited. I'm sure it's a Jasmine Castillo. I do have, I think, all of the Jasmine Castillo animal ones. I don't have the Jasmine Castillo astronaut one. But, ooh, okay, we have the Hornet. And bonus, the Hornet is actually on sale right now at Distracted by Diamonds. I'll put a link below. I think it is 20% off or something like that. So it is a square diamond painting and it measures 50 by 65. Here's the box. It has like a holographic sheen to it. Let's open this up. I'm very excited for this one. I've been wanting the Hornet for a while and it's kind of just been sitting, to be honest, it's been sitting in the bag since I got it a few months ago. After I get diamond paintings, they're just like, they just sit there. They just sit there until I unbox them. Unless I'm, I want to work on them, then I'll unbox them right away. So we have our canvas. We have one of these. These are my favorite containers and Sandra West actually sent me a bunch too. So I love these containers. They're very useful. Um, they're easy to kit up with. And if you have a whole bunch of them, you could do a whole diamond painting with these. So I really like these. I'm glad they include them. And now let's pull out the drills. Here are our square drills. Again, this is a square diamond painting. They are marked with the DMC number. As you can see, and here is our toolkit. So you, it's a very basic toolkit. You get a four placer, which is here. I'm not gonna take the toolkit out. A pen, plate of wax, and one of those white MOSFET trays. And they're called MOSFET trays if you're wondering because it literally says, you can't see it, but it says MOSFET right here. So that must be the brand of tray. Let's put that stuff aside. There should be a paper that tells us more about the painting somewhere here is more information about the hornet so here is a thumbnail it's really beautiful i love the switchblades seriously seriously love them <laughs> okay let's put this away first yeah that's a good idea here's the hornet and it's called giant hornet and it's licensed by jasmine castillo or is it licensed by distracted by diamonds from jasmine castillo whatever so there's just a blurb about the company and then here is the schematic. We'll look at the schematic closer on the actual canvas, which I will unroll now. Let's unveil it. Shall we unveil it? That is upside down. So here we have a poured glue canvas. Poured glue, everyone. Poured glue canvas. It's beautiful. I really love it. There seems to be a crinkle, but that is just the... Yep, that's just the sheet on top of it. So I love this diamond painting. It's beautiful. And at the top we have, it says distracted by diamonds. We have our schematic or a legend on the right hand side. And we also have it on the bottom left. And at the very bottom of the canvas, it says giant hornet copyright Jasmine Castillo 2021. And then there's just this weird stuff about the canvas and I never know what it means, but. <laughs> So I love it. It looks so nice. And the Hornet is actually outlined in what looks like 310. Was it 310? Yeah, it's outlined in 310. And for the previous Jasmine Castillos, I'll leave links to the unboxings in the or to the post completions in the description box below, if I remember. I actually outlined each bug with sparklers so i might do the same with this one i might outline it with sparklers i love it it looks really nice and like i love that there's a gradient in the background so it's not all just going to be one color but it's also not annoyingly confettied where it's just like random other symbols down here like one symbol here and one symbol there it's just like color blocking and it's it's gorgeous seriously i'm very excited to do this it's very nice. Okay, let's take a look at the schematic so we can see the colors. 
So here is the schematic. Uh, this looks like it might be hard to see on the canvas, but we will see how it is in the drill field. This also looks dark on dark. It is an eight. M kind of looks hard to see, but we'll see on the canvas or on the drill field. Oh, and it looks like there's two ABs. So 39 and 40, it says AB after them. So it looks like there's two ABs in this kit. I want to see the drill field though, because those, those numbers or those symbols on the schematic kind of look worrisome. So let's take a look. Oops. So G, I guess G isn't hard to see. Um, there's eight. Eight isn't hard to see, but if I put my hand, no, it doesn't look like it's hard to see. I will be using a light pad with this. So those initial symbols that I noted when we looked at the schematic don't look like there'll be issues. Wow, it's so pretty. Look at the little heart on the hornet. There's his face. Hornet butt. Here's its butt. Hornet butt. Cute. Yeah, I really like this canvas. I don't see. There's the M that I pointed out. The M is looks easy to see. So I don't see any issues with any symbols being hard to see, but we won't know until we sit at a desk and, and by we, I mean me, <laughs> and put some drills down. This is really beautiful though. I love it. Okay, so I'm going to do a tour of the canvas, and then I'll come back and we'll check out the drills. Now let's check out the drills and I'm going to pull out those ABs and we can see how those look and then we can look on the canvas to see where they go. I like how these are packaged. These are packaged nicely. I've done Distracted by Diamond Squares before and their squares turned out really great. No gapping or anything or no gapping, no popping drills or anything like that. So I'm not too worried about the quality. Here at the very end of the train are the two ABs. So we have, this is 444 and 666. These look very beautiful. Very sparkly too. So if you're new to diamond painting, AB stands for Aurora Borealis. And you can just see these drills have a special coating on them that makes them shine more than the others. Yeah, I like this a lot. These are really pretty. Okay, so let's put these back and we'll look on the canvas where those ABs go. But here's a, like, you can kind of get a feeling. I'm not going to pull all the drills out, but you can kind of get a feeling for what colors are included with this kit. There's lots of this blue color, really pretty. Pinks. So there's like pinks, blues, some orange and some like beigey brown. Yeah, that's really nice. I like the colors. Oh my goodness. I'm excited for this kit. What do you guys think? Let me know in the dis in the comments below. So let's see where those ABs go. So first we have this star. Is it a star? I don't know. North star symbol, which is the yellow. So the star symbol. Let's hire this up a bit. C, star symbol, star symbol. So there's some stars in the wings. Same with the other side. Stars in his head or his eyes, his eyes, corner eyes. And then there are some stars here. More in the wings. Is there any in the switchblade? No. Okay, so, I mean, there's not a ton of the yellow that I see. So it's mostly in the wings in his head. Yeah, I think that's it. And here on his body, right there and there. Okay, and then we have the 666 AB, which is the moon shape. Where is that 666? So 666 is this bright red. I don't know if you can tell on camera, but it is bright red in person. So it's going to be all along here in the wings, here, 
and the wings over there. Hmm. I think that's it. I don't see any more besides in the wings. It's kind of like, I wish that there were more ABs. Like, it'd be cool if, like, more of the bee had ABs, or, the, sorry, more of the hornet had ABs, because then he would stand out more amongst, like, the switchblades and everything. But that is definitely, like, if you're one of those people who adds ABs, you might want to add them to this kit. Again, I'll probably be adding sparklers to it. But this is, I'm really happy with this canvas. And again, it is on sale. I think it's 20% off. Don't quote me on that. But I did see it on sale at the Distracted by Diamonds Etsy. It's really beautiful, though. I'm very excited about this kit. What do you guys think? Let me know down below. Is, is doing bugs something that you would like to diamond paint? Is that, like, on your to-do list? I don't know. I, I don't like bugs in real life, but I don't mind them like illustrated and I don't mind pictures of bugs but bugs in real life they just have too many they have too many legs okay they have too many legs why do they need wings why do they need to fly I get it mother nature but it's, they're kind of gross they gross me out but not this one this hornet is really cute if I saw a hornet in real life I don't think I'd like it but anyways that's the end of my video thank you so much for watching if you're new here and you like diamond painting videos again please click the subscribe button. Just gently click it. Gently caress that subscribe button. I promise the police won't come after you if you caress it. I post new videos on an almost daily basis, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Okay, bye!